What's up guys, it's Tommy Thompson here from the San Jose Earthquakes and Major League Soccer and we're back for another 1,000 touch session, okay? This is 1,000 touches with an MLS Pro Part 2. First of all, I want to congratulate you guys. This channel's gotten over 200,000 views in just two months. That means you guys are putting in work. Shout out to all the players across the United States, but a special shout out goes out to all the players in California, Colorado, Indiana, New York, and Texas, okay? I can see you guys are watching, thank you. And a big shout out to all my international players as well. I can see you guys are watching in Germany, in the United Kingdom, y especialmente los jugadores in Argentina, que pasa? Keep up the good work. All right, you guys, that's enough talking from me. Now we're gonna be jumping straight into the one cone skill exercise. We're gonna be starting out with the V inside, okay? Check it out. All right, so we're starting off with the V inside. If you like what you see, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. The goal is to get as many players as possible across the world training on their own, okay? I'm about to put it in slow motion. If this one's confusing you right now, it's gonna be a pullback with the right, and then a push with the right, and then a pullback with the left, and then a push with the left, okay? We're gonna be doing each skill for 30 seconds until I yell time. Great job, everybody. Keep those feet moving. And that's time. Great job with that V inside, you guys. Now we're gonna be moving on to something a little bit different, okay? It's what I call the push and pull. Check it out. All right, you guys, now we're moving on to the push and pull. That graphic that you just saw is a separate video on my channel. If you need help with any of these skills and you wanna see them again, be sure to check out the playlist tab on my profile and you'll see all of these skills in slow motion, okay? I'm about to put it in slow motion right now as well, all right? Notice how I push the ball forward and then I pull it back, okay? And then I put the ball across my body and then I do the same thing, but now with the opposite foot. All right, you guys, great work. Just a couple more seconds. Keep those legs moving. All right, you guys, great job with that push and pull. Now we're gonna be moving on to what I call the crossover push, okay? Check it out. Here we go, you guys. Now this one's a little bit more difficult, okay? It's the crossover push. Pass the ball forward with one leg and then grab that ball and pull it back with the other, okay? Really focus on pushing that ball all the way past that cone that's in front of you, okay? That's the main purpose of the cone in the one cone skill drill. It gives us an idea on how far we should be pushing that ball out. All right, again, you guys were doing each skill for 30 seconds. There's just a couple more seconds left of this one. Keep pushing yourself, well done. All right, you guys, great job with that crossover push. That can be a difficult one. Now we're gonna be moving on to one of my favorites, okay? It's what I call the triangle step. All right, it looks like this. All right, you guys, now we're doing the triangle step. This is a challenging one, but I really like it. It's one of the most popular one cone skill exercises on the channel, okay? You're drawing a triangle in both directions. Notice how I'm going right, left, right, and I'm going left, right, left, all the way through. Tell yourself that. Right, left, right, left, right, left. I just put it in slow motion now for you guys to check it out in slow-mo. I'm gonna put it in ultra slow-mo right now. Okay, if you guys need any help, come back to the screen and check it out. Otherwise, keep it up. Great job, you guys. All right, you guys, great job with that triangle step. That could be a tricky one. Now we're all done with the one cone skill exercise, so we're gonna be moving on to what I call the two cone skill drill. To set it up, all you gotta do is lay down two cones, two steps apart, all right? We're gonna be jumping straight into the in and out boxes. Check it out. All right, you guys, now we're moving on to the in and out boxes and the two cone skill drill. Make sure that we're exploding all the way to the other side of each cone, okay? It's three touches and explode with the right foot, and then it's three touches and explode with the left foot. We're doing this for 30 seconds, okay? Keep pushing yourself. By the end of it, you should be tired. I just put it in slow motion if you guys need any extra help, okay? Just a couple more seconds left. Well done. See if you can get one more repetition in. Good stuff. All right, you guys, great job with those in and out boxes. Now we're gonna be moving on to one of the most popular skills on the channel, okay? It's what I call the box step. Check it out. All right, you guys, now we're moving on to the box step, okay? This is one of the channel favorites. Notice as I'm going through it, the movement of the ball is sideways backwards, sideways forward, sideways backwards, sideways forward. Keep telling yourself that. That's how you can check to make sure that you're doing the exercise correctly. I'm about to put it in slow motion, so come up to the screen if you need some extra help. Notice, it's sideways with the right, backwards with the left, sideways with the right, forward with the left. Okay, great stuff, you guys. All right, you guys, great job with that box step. Now we're gonna be moving on to what I call the hot steppers, okay? This one should get the legs burning. It looks like this. 
All right, you guys, now we're doing the hot steppers for 30 seconds straight, okay? By the end of it, you should be feeling a burn in the legs. Remember, with every session you do, you get out what you put into it, okay? So make sure we're moving that ball with maximum effort, all right? Try to cover as much ground as possible, okay? Not a ton of time left. Keep pushing yourself. Right, left, right, left, all the way through. All right, great job, you guys. Couple more seconds, well done. All right, you guys, the final technique we'll be doing in the two cone skill drill is what I call the slide and roll. We're gonna be doing it to the left and then we're gonna be doing it to the right, okay? It looks like this. All right, you guys, the final dribbling technique in the two cone skill exercise is also the most difficult one, all right? We're starting off sliding that ball right to left and then rolling that ball in front of those cones with the left foot, okay? I'm about to put it in slow motion if you're confused but keep pushing yourself through those cones, okay? We're just gonna do it for a couple more seconds, and then we're gonna be moving on to the same thing, but going the opposite direction, okay? There you go, now switch it up, okay? Slide with the left to the right foot, and then roll across those cones with the right foot. All right, well done. Keep pushing yourself, you guys. We're just going 30 seconds each way. By the end of this, you should definitely be feeling a burn, okay? I'm about to put it in slow motion again for you guys. Check it out if you need it. Otherwise, keep pushing yourself. Just a couple more seconds, well done. All right, you guys, great job with that slide and roll. Now we're all done with the two cone skill drill, okay? So we're gonna be moving on to what I call the two cone turn exercise. To set it up, all you gotta do is lay down two cones, six steps apart, all right? Be sure to give yourself plenty of space to change your speed. The first one we're gonna be doing today is what I call the pullback turn. Check it out. All right, you guys, we're jumping straight into the pullback turn. Pay attention to the details on this one, okay? I pull the ball back with my left foot and then I get around the cone, and then I pull the ball back with my right foot and then I get around the cone, okay? With these exercises, be sure to start off slow, but then once you get the hang of it, that's when you can speed it up, all right? Notice how I make a figure eight all the way through those cones. I'm doing it in slow motion now. If you guys are getting confused, come back to the screen. But if not, keep pushing yourself through those cones, all right? We're gonna be doing 45 second repetitions in the two cone turn exercise, so keep pushing yourself. The idea is to be tired by the end of each repetition. Keep pushing yourself, not a ton of time left. Great work, you guys. All right, you guys, great job with that pullback turn. Now we're gonna be moving on to what I call the Ronaldo combo, okay? Check it out. All right, here we go. Now we're moving on to the Ronaldo combo. Notice how I go around with my right foot and then I get around the cone with my left foot. And then I go around with my left foot and then I get around the cone with my right foot. Make sure that we're still doing a figure eight between the cones, okay? The only difference is that we add a different skill move each time, okay? We're pushing ourselves for 45 seconds. Make sure you're putting in maximum effort, okay? We're pretending like each cone is like a defender. All right, and the only way to beat a defender is by exaggerating each movement. Really focus on doing each skill exactly as we would in the game. That's because we practice the way that we play always. Great work, you guys. Just a couple more seconds. All right, you guys, great job with that Ronaldo combo. Now we're gonna be moving on to the step over inside, okay? Pay attention to the details on this one. Check it out. Okay, now we're moving on to the step over inside. Notice how I use different feet every time okay i step over with my left foot and then i turn with my right foot and then i get around the cone i step over with my right foot and then i turn with my left foot okay in all of these exercises whether it's the one cone skill drill two cone skill drill two cone turn exercise whatever it is every touch has a purpose and every step has a purpose as well okay so be sure to exaggerate the movement and try to replicate it exactly as i'm doing it on camera Notice how we're still doing that figure eight movement, okay? The only way to do that is by stepping over with the left foot and then touching with the right foot and then stepping over with the right foot and touching with your left foot, okay? Keep pushing yourself. You'll see me in a second. I was very tired after this one, okay? Check it out. This is all real. Try to push yourself as hard as I was pushing myself. That's the best way to get better. All right, you guys, great job with that step over inside. Now the final one we're doing is one of my favorite 1v1 moves, okay? It's what I call the body fake combo. Check it out. All right, here we go. Now we're ending with one of my favorites, okay? This is a move that I do in games all the time. Check it out. I fake left and then go right, and then I get around the cone. And then I fake right and then go left, and then I get around the cone. 
Be sure to exaggerate that movement, okay? We're pretending like each cone is like a defender, so really focus on trying to sell that defender, convince them that you're gonna be going that way, all right? What I like about this move is that regardless of the speed you're going, you can pull it off, okay? So you can be doing it at a slower speed like this, or in a game, if you're running full speed, you can still do this move, okay? It's a great one. I hope you guys can all master it. All right, great work, you guys. Just a couple more seconds, then we're all done with the two-cone turn exercise. Keep pushing yourself. Well done. And that's time. Great job with that body fake combo, you guys. Now that's it for the two-cone turn exercise. The final drill we're going to be doing is what I call the 10-cone drill, okay? To set it up, all you got to do is lay down 10 cones in a straight line. To give you an idea on the measurement, the cones are just about one and a half feet apart, okay? The first dribbling technique we're gonna be doing today in the 10 cone drill is what I call the outside V, okay? Check it out. All right, you guys, the first dribbling technique we're gonna be doing in the 10 cone drill is what I call the outside V step, okay? You pull it back with the right foot, push it with the left foot, and then you pull it back with the left foot, and then push it with the right foot, okay? We're gonna be doing each dribbling technique for one minute, so try to get through those cones as quick as you can, try to get in as many repetitions as you can, all right? But one of the most important points I always make in the 10 cone drill is that we're pretending like each cone is like a defender's foot. So do not be a cone hugger. Notice how I'm pushing that ball away from the cones. Try to explode out of the situation. We don't wanna stay close to those cones all the time. We wanna pull back and then push it forward, and then pull back and then push it forward, okay? If you guys are confused, I just put the video in slow motion for you guys to check it out. This is my last repetition, okay? Keep pushing yourself through those cones, and then we're gonna be moving on. Well done, you guys. Just a couple more seconds. The minute's almost up. Good work. All right, you guys, great job with that outside V. Now we're gonna be moving on to what I call the in and out both feet, okay? Check it out. All righty, you guys, now we're moving on to the in and out both feet. This is a dribbling technique that I was actually just doing at the Earthquakes practice yesterday, okay? Notice how I touch the ball with the inside of my right foot and then touch it with the outside of my left foot. And then I touch it with the inside of my left foot and then I touch it with the outside of my right foot, all right? I'm gonna put it in slow-mo for you guys in a second if you're confused, but if you guys have it down, go ahead, jump straight into it. We're doing it for one minute, so get in as many repetitions as you can. Okay, here's the final rep. It's in slow-mo now, inside, outside, inside, outside, all the way through those cones. Like I said earlier, let's make sure that we're not being a cone hugger. Each cone is like a defender's foot, so we gotta explode past it okay great job you guys just a couple more seconds the minutes almost up keep up the good work all right you guys great job with that in and out both feet now we're gonna be moving on to what i call the slide okay it looks like this all right you guys now we're moving on to the slide okay some people might call it the messy slide or the iniesta slide this is one of my favorite moves to work on okay the most important point to remember is to slide through the cones without straddling them, okay? The best thing to do is to imagine that there's a pole sticking up between each cone, okay? And just like how you can't step over a defender, you can't step over that cone, okay? Notice how I slide through each gate. I don't step over any cones, okay? We wanna do this move exactly as we would in a game. It's one of my absolute favorite moves to pull off but the only reason I can pull it off in Major League Soccer is because I've gone through these cones thousands and thousands of times, okay? There's no secret recipe to success. It's all repetition, okay? I just put it in slow-mo if you guys wanna come check it out. Otherwise, if you already know how to do it, keep doing it. Well done, you guys. And that's time. Great job with the slide, you guys. Now we're gonna be moving on to what I call the left foot scissor step, okay? Check it out. All right, you guys, now we're gonna be finishing off the session with two difficult ones, okay? This is what I call the left foot scissor step. Be sure to only do a scissor with the left foot all the way through. With these more difficult dribbling techniques, be sure to start off slow, and then once you get the technique right, that's when you can speed it up, okay? It's what I always say, but it's true. Make sure that we're doing it correctly, make sure that we're doing it exactly as I'm doing it 
on the screen, okay? Notice it's left foot scissor and then a slide and then a left foot scissor and then you touch it forward with your right foot and then you control that ball with the right foot again, okay? Every touch has a purpose. Every step has a purpose. I'm gonna be putting it in slow motion for the final repetition. If you guys need help, come and check it out. Notice how I'm doing a scissor with the left foot every single time, okay? Great stuff, you guys. This is the final repetition here. Get your last touches in. Keep up the good work. We're almost done. And time. Great job with that left foot scissor step. Now we're gonna be moving on to the right foot scissor step, okay? Same thing, opposite feet. It looks like this. All right, you guys, the final dribbling technique we're doing is the right foot scissor step, okay? It might be a little bit more difficult than the left foot scissor step, but we wanna make sure that we're just as comfortable going to the right as we are going to the left, okay? That's the goal of doing all of these different dribbling techniques. We wanna get comfortable with the inside of the foot, the outside of the foot, the sole of the foot, with both the right and left feet, okay? It's very important to be just as comfortable dribbling in both directions, all right? Because if you can go to the right or to the left, then your defender will never know which way you're going, all right? And that's exactly what we want. Okay, so for the final repetition here, I'm gonna be putting in slow motion for you guys, okay? Notice it's right foot scissor, slide with the left, right foot scissor, touch it with the left, and then control it with the left. And then you do that over and over again. Great job, you guys. Keep up the great work. These are the last couple seconds of the session. Well done. And that's time. Great job, you guys. That's another session in the books, okay? That was 1,000 touches with an MLS Pro Part 2. If you like what you saw, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. The goal of all this is to get as many players as possible training on their own. Great stuff today, you guys. I had a ton of fun, and I'll see you guys next time.